Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today, I will be, well, it's actually nighttime. What time is it? Like nine something? Yeah. Nine something here in the East Coast. I will be eating some seafood. Yes, this is a spicy seafood mukbang. Those are, I don't know why people always say mukbang like it's a lot of food because it's really not, but... It's spicy fried shrimp. Mmm, those are jalapenos and spice. And I have some spicy fried lobster. It's yummy. Look at that. These parts are my favorite. I don't know why. I will be eating this with some white fried rice it has onions you guys can see that let me show y'all and bean sprouts because i love bean sprouts mm, 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 mm. as you sure you don't want none all right well bye anyways so yeah i'm gonna eat this what do i have to drink here i have Juicy juice. I love juicy juice. And I have some water. And no, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. And even though I don't drink soda often, once in a while, I need a little bit of Canada Dry in my life. Mm. So, let's get into this. So, I asked them to make it extra spicy. And boy, did they go in with the jalapenos. So I got this from a restaurant called Saigon's. And it's an Asian restaurant. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, did you say you don't want it? Mmm. Mmm. It is really so glad. It's bomb. Oh! Saigon is one of my favorite restaurants. I never get enough of it. It just tastes so bomb. Those jalapenos and whatever type of Asian spice they use, I don't know, but um, I'm thinking about what should I talk about in this video? Uh. Mm. I guess I'll talk about what's going on in my life right now. So, I would probably say I'm a serial mover. I probably move like every two, three years. That's what I'm working on right now. I've decided it's time for me to move. To a bigger more modern place i'm gonna stay in massachusetts of course mm. you're not really supposed to eat spicy food with acid acidic stuff like soda because it burns then i got this jalapeno whoa but yeah so i'm starting my journey i'm gonna I've decided it's time for me to move to a bigger place. I'm very picky about where I live for the most part. I'm not a very friendly neighbor. Well, I'm friendly, but I don't like talking to my neighbors at all. I'm I'm just like that. I'm just I'm friendly, but I'm private. Why? Because people are nosy. And people are crazy. The Bible says something about, what does the Bible say? Something about you're supposed to love thy neighbor or something like that. But if I see somebody in trouble like or something like that, I help them out. Like one day I saw this girl sitting outside on the sidewalk. It was like 2 in the morning. 
and I don't know if it might have been some type of domestic violence situation, her running from her boyfriend or sad or depressed, but she was looking real pitiful sitting on the sidewalk at 2 a.m. by herself. So I was like, are you laughing? I thought her She was. She was looking real pitiful. Do you remember that night? I mm. She was looking real pitiful and sad. Now, all I could think about, you shouldn't be laughing because all I was thinking about, I have two girls. And if that was my daughter, I would not want her to be sitting on the sidewalk looking like that, all sad. Because you never know what the situation is. She could have been running for somebody or something. So I offered her some water. She wanted something to drink, asked her if she was okay. And then I watched her. I watched, yeah, I went inside, started watching out the window on the low. And then I came out again and asked her if she was okay, like twice, because she was still sitting there for a minute. Then she just went away, but you can't force people. You can't force people. They don't want to help any, they don't want any help, but I was definitely looking out for her. But anyway, so I'm not really a friendly neighbor. I need to live someplace where I have my own space, like. Ideally, I probably need some shit like a mansion. Oh, everything I'm saying is just making you laugh in there, huh? I'm serious, like, but you know what? If I had a mansion, I would be so scared. I would have cameras everywhere, and I would be always trying to watch them. Or I would want something that makes some type of signal. No matter what room I'm in, if somebody got close to any of the doors or the windows, so that I would know. Because I don't have time to be watching cameras all day. But I would need something to let me know. No matter what room I'm in in the house, like if somebody got close to my doors or my windows, the sound would go off and I would know, girl, somebody is close. <clears throat> yeah, because I would like a big house, but I, I would be paranoid because who has time to be watching, worrying about who, come, you know, you never know. People might try to break me and shit, especially if you got a big house, unless you're living in one of those neighborhoods where everybody got money or whatever so they won't care about mm. but yeah i'm picky about what house i live in the neighborhood it can't be too ratchet right now i live in an old-fashioned two-family house so the owners the people who own this house, their mother lives on the other side. And she's like an old Haitian lady. Right? It has nothing to do with her being Haitian, so I really didn't have to say that. But, <clears throat> you know, I'm not that old yet. And sometimes when you live next to old people, they are nosy. And I'm a very quiet tenant, so it's like... I feel like the more quiet you are, the more interested people are trying to figure out who you are and what you're doing. But, yeah, you can't be living next to old people. I can't. And I'm very quiet. But I still can't. I, I don't want to live next to no old people because they want you to live like them. Like, I'm not 70 yet. So, why are you trying to make me live a 70-year-old lifestyle? Can I live in peace? I'm respectful and all. But it's like, so back in my smoking days. Back in my marijuana smoking days. When I first moved here, I've only been here for like three years. <sighs> Any little scent of it, even outside, here she go. And then her sons who overlook the property would be like, oh, my mama said she smelled like. I I'm not even one of those people that smoke. Oh, when I used to smoke. It's flamboyant because I never like the smell in the house or anything like that. So it's always me trying to do something to hide the smell. So it was a force. So I have my own side of the house here, backyard. But if somebody else go outside and smoke, oh, guess who's coming outside to look probably. I can't live like that. If I have guests... I'm real respectful. That is it. It's not what you do, it's how you do it, right? Not to some people. Some people just want to just be all up in your business. Again, trying to dictate 
how you're gonna live your life. And I don't, I can't live next to a neighbor like that at all. Another reason why it's time for me to go. Even though I really see that lady. And the sons don't complain because I don't do shit, but. Well, I don't want to blast music and stuff like that. I never get no complaints, so. It's whatever. But. I need to move to a more modern house now, so. It's time to go. Mm. But. A new thing that I notice the neighbor does is they wait for me to put my trash out. She waits for me to put my trash out. Okay. I don't want to get no comments or nobody typing underneath this mess underneath this video saying, Oh, you're so petty for that. It's trash. They're in the same house. Does it matter? No. What matters is the fact that I'm being watched. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all how. Sometimes I put my trash out at two in the morning. There's no trash outside. As soon as I put my trash outside, I can look out the window and then the neighbor's trash is right next to mine, right, right with mine. My thing is, why are you waiting for me to put my trash out to put your trash out? That's the part that aggravates me. I feel like you're watching even my moves in terms of when I put my trash out. I've tested this theory by putting it out multiple times. Sometimes I'm a jerk and I'll wait till like two, three, five, whatever I feel like it in the morning. Sometimes I don't put it out till early in the morning, right before the trash comes, just to see what happens. Never fails. Which leads me to believe you're literally waiting for me to put my trash out before you put your trash out. That's crazy. Like, Sometimes I don't have that much trash, so I don't have to bring around the recycle bin or the regular trash can. So I'll just put a bag out. But when it's a lot of trash and I have to put out the trash can or whatever, oh, best believe somebody's trash bag gonna be added on top of my trash can. It's like we don't pay for half. We don't pay for trash here in Massachusetts, so it's not like it's a fee. So I guess I can. I guess I'm being a little petty, but it's just it's. It's not the fact that they're putting it with mine. It's the fact that they're waiting, which I find a little bit to be a little creepy. I don't know. That's just something I wouldn't do. Then again, she's an old lady. Maybe she's just doing it to aggravate me. Who knows? And I fucking care. Oh, when I first moved here, I used to be friendly, really friendly. I talked to her when I see her outside <clears throat> until I saw she started talking to herself out loud, having arguments. And I used to be like, damn, is she talking trash about me in Creole? Because I damn sure don't know what she be saying. But anyways... That's enough talking about her. Sometimes I be feeling bad, like, girl, you're just being a jerk. Talk about that old lady, but it wouldn't matter how old she is, old, young. I just have to think about how people move around me. Again, I'm not, I'm not that type of neighbor where people can do whatever. Just leave me alone. But, yeah. Ooh, this, this lobster is. I'm trying to get every bit of this lobster. Looks like I'm taking those shrimp down more than the lobster. We have some of the best seafood here in New England. I had some seafood when I was down south in Atlanta. It was horrible. Horrible. I had some seafood when I was in College Park. I had some seafood next to that mall. Whatever that mall, that mall that everybody goes to. The one that's like downtown or something. 
downtown Atlanta. The one in College Park was a little bit better. That's the one I think that all the celebrities and people be going to. But compared to being here in Massachusetts, I mean, this real where where the seafood is. So one of the places where the seafood is. So I think it's I'm already coming from a place that has great seafood. So if I'm going to eat it someplace that's not as good, I'm definitely gonna know. It's like I couldn't even. I'm telling you, I paid like. I think we paid close to like $80 or for whatever the food is we got. And we was like down around the hotels in Atlanta. I tipped the girl $20 because she was nice. But I took one bite of the food and couldn't eat it. That's how bad it was. I couldn't eat more than one bite. That's bad. The one at the college park was... It was better. But it was, way so, it was so hot I couldn't even eat it. And I like my food spicy, but I don't know what kind of spice they was using. But, so I know, for me, Atlanta might not be the best place for me to be having seafood. I was going to try, I was trying to go to Hattie Mae's barbecue place, but it closed, it closed so early. I think it closed at like 7 or something. It was not open. I did go to Harold's, Harold's Chicken. It was like a lounge. They was all, they had hookah and shit. It was lit in there. I did enjoy that. That was my favorite part of being down there. That lounge, that little, that little Harold's Chicken, whatever, Harold's Chicken Lounge, whatever bar, it was lit. Mmm. I did enjoy that. I think that went to the one that's in College Park. I gotta visit Atlanta again to go to some some places I didn't go to. I had a jade ring that I spent some money for. I think I paid like three fifty for this eighteen carat jade ring. I brought it here in Massachusetts, but I lost that shit down there in the Airbnb. I had it in that Airbnb too, and I looked everywhere before I went. I know they found it, and it was definitely not gonna send me my shit back. Cause last place I had it was in that room. Look for the room. They want to take us, sisters. Jade ring. But how long is this video? 18 minutes in? I'm gonna stop recording now because I'm tired of talking. But I just wanted to show y'all my delicious seafood. How they be taking the um they got the shrimp hat. Who eats the shrimp hat in there? I do not like the shrimp head. I mean the lobster. The lobster head. I might try it today. They be saying the tamale, that green stuff, that be in the bodies of these seafoods, shellfish, is the best. It's like a, what do they call it? A delicacy, but I haven't ate yet. So, I'm going to end this video because I've done enough talking and I'm about to go in. What I got to do is like a thumbnail. That's how they be. <laughs> I got my daughter in the living room ear, ear hustling the whole video. Yeah, you're listening. That's why you just responded. I don't care if you're listening. She's waiting. Like, come show the people who you are. She doesn't have her wig on today. You guys want to see what she looks like without her wig? Come look. Come make a feature. Come show the people your ponytail. Anyhow, I'm using her light. What's this light called? I don't know. 
it's like a light attached to the phone. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to let her have it back because she's clearly down here acting like detective on me. Okay? Until the next video. Peace.